Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. I want you to click the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Time to talk about this shit. Got my two favorite superheroes in the same movie. It's been a long time coming, so I need to talk about this. I have to. Bruce Wayne, played by Ben Affleck. He's doing his thing in the world and then all of a sudden Superman and Zod started fighting. Fucking shit up, destroying Metropolis, whole city coming down, buildings collapsing, blowing up and shit, humans screaming for their fucking lives and getting crushed under the rubble, and Bruce Wayne was just looking at this shit. He didn't see it as like, okay, you got the bad alien Zod, and you got the good alien Superman. He saw it as two powerful beings destroying the fucking city, and they might move on to destroying the rest of the world. So I understood Batman's perspective. So I gotta say that the opening to this movie was on point. And there's this moment where, you know, Bruce Wayne is holding this child and he's looking up at the sky. And it's just the way that he was looking at Superman. I'm just like, when Batman looks at you like that, that's how you know you done fucked up. Superman don't know he fucked up, but he done fucked up. So the rest of the movie, we see that Bruce Wayne is uh, taking notes on this Kryptonian. And he's just like, I'm going to fuck this dude up. We see that they have a couple of conversations. You know, the whole, do you bleed? You will kind of stuff. And I was like, damn. And uh, Ben Affleck, he pulls off Batman perfectly. You know what I'm saying? The biggest Batman we've ever seen from a physical standpoint and the way the bat suit looks on him, the way he moves, the whole warehouse scene, that shit was amazing. The way that the way that Batman fights in that warehouse scene is some of the sickest shit I've ever seen in any comic book movie. It was like they took him out of the comic books, they took him out of them Batman games, live action. Jesse Eisenberg an actor who I don't really care for. It's not that I hate him, but I don't really care for him. Um, him as Lex Luthor. Really, Alexander Luthor. But Alexander Luthor also goes by Lex Luthor, for those of you that don't know. Um, I felt he was... That's a miscast. You know, it seemed like that interpretation of Alexander... Um, it's like he was Edward Nigma. It's like this motherfucker was trying to be the Riddler or something. I'm like, that's not how any of the Lexes act. Whether it's Lex Luthor, the father, or Alexander, the son. Neither one of them behaved like that. So that shit was cringy as fuck to me. The scene where you had Lex, Bruce, and Clark together. That shit was stupid as hell. And when you get to the end of the movie... That's when you get a short exchange between Batman and Superman. You get Batman versus Superman at the end of the movie. And the fight is brief. Like, it was cool, but it's too damn short. You know, Batman coming up with a kryptonite spear, that shit was sick as hell. Like, that's one of the few moments in this movie where uh, when I was watching it in the theater, I jumped out of my seat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, holy shit, my boy got a kryptonite spear. What the fuck? And you got Alexander Luthor over here plotting in the background and shit. And then he takes Zod and turns him into some kind of fucked up version of Doomsday. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? We got two different storylines in this movie. We got the death of Superman. And then we got the uh, the Dark Knight Returns where, you know, Bruce Wayne is old as fuck. Uh, Superman's older and they fight. You got two different storylines here. And both of these storylines deserve their own attention, as in their own movie, and a build-up to that, just because those two storylines are very important in DC Comics. So, Doomsday, in terms of his appearance, he looked like an orc mixed with a fucked-up Ninja Turtle, and they did a fusion. Like, that's how Doomsday look. He looked dumb as hell. And um, there's a scene where you got Wonder Woman where she comes in, right? Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When that shit happened in the theater, my dick ripped through my pants. Like, that shit was amazing. 
you know, she was trying to take the fight to Doomsday. Didn't really work out, but the fact that Wonder Woman was there, you know, Wonder Woman is strong as fuck. You know what I'm saying? She she definitely didn't bust this Superman's lip before. I mean, Superman's a lot more powerful than Wonder Woman. Don't get it twisted, but Wonder Woman has thrown down with some of the best DC characters. So you got to put some respect on Wonder Woman. And seeing the DC Trinity together, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, that shit was amazing for me. One of the best moments in the whole movie. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. I don't think this is a good movie. I don't. And this is the theatrical cut, right? When it, when it comes to the ultimate cut of this movie, I think it's a little better. Like, I would go with like a 6.5 for the ultimate cut. But for the, the basic one that we got in the theater, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Just because I feel like visually this movie looks amazing. Zack Snyder is a master of making things look amazing. Like presentation. But it's just there's so much happening in this movie. And not enough time devoted to it because you have too many storylines in the same movie. Superman is behaving in a way that's concerning. He's not bright and hopeful, right? Now, not that I expected him to be because he was depicted a certain way in Man of Steel, but I'm just like, Superman, you you, you, gotta, you gotta chill out sometimes, Superman, right? And you got Batman over here, he just killing motherfuckers, just, just killing them. They just did blood splattering, and, and yo, that, like I said, that warehouse scene was amazing. But when he hit that one motherfucker, like, and his head went through the ground, I was like, at what point do you just put your gun down and walk away? You'd be like, look, man, I'm sorry. I don't know him. I might look like I'm one of them, but it, this is just me, uh, the practicing of, of what not to do in life. You know, it's just like, hell nah. You see Batman wrecking motherfuckers, and you think you're going to shoot a couple more times and run in there? Nah, nah, nah. Now, I understand they were just defending themselves, but that's not the point. The point is, is that sometimes in life, you got to know when to put your gun down. So Batman killing Superman just seems to not be caring about a whole lot. Now he's got to fight with Batman. It's like their personalities were very similar, even though Batman and Superman have very different personalities in the comic books. And you would think that Batman wouldn't be killing as much in this context because he's talking about, look at this Kryptonian motherfucker. I got kryptonite for days. Your ass is done, Kryptonian. You, you kill all those fucking people in Metropolis. You and that other alien motherfucker, it's time for you to go down. And then Batman's doing a bunch of killing. It seems a little bit odd, but I get it, though. I'm not mad at it. It's just I wish this were a little bit more coherent. The ultimate cut is a little bit more coherent, so I do prefer the ultimate cut to the theatrical cut, but at the same time, neither version of the film is how I pictured a Batman vs. Superman movie. As excited as I was to see my two favorite superheroes in the same movie, it's, it's too early for this kind of storyline. Like, when it came out, like, and even at this point... It's too early. This is something that you do way down the line. Way, way, way. Like after you've done like damn near every story, then you can do that. Just because by that point, the audience, they have grown with Batman and Superman. There's an appreciation. So you get the audience with this emotional investment because you got Batman and Superman fighting. It'd be like, damn, why are they doing that? What's going on? And, you know, you could really have some powerful stuff. So to me, both versions of the film are a visual feast, but lack a lot of substance. And I love Zack Snyder as a director. And this is why I want you to understand And I'm being 100% honest. I don't like to be biased. I know a lot of humans do that. They be jumping on the bandwagon and they, they be switching shit, right? You know, they'll say one minute they, they don't like it. Now they like it. One minute they like it and now they don't like it. For me, I'm just going to be honest. That's what I do. I'm always honest. I wanted to like this movie, but I don't. I don't like this movie. I like certain things in the movie. 
The movie visually looks amazing, but this is not how you do a Batman vs. Superman movie. It was too soon. Zack Snyder is awesome, but I, just for me, it fell short. But I still love Zack Snyder and stuff. I'm excited to see Zack Snyder's Justice League because they did him dirty. I can't wait to see this shit, but I wish this would have been better. You know what I'm saying? I pictured it so much better in my mind. But I've seen worse, but this could have been better. This is just me being real. And if you don't agree, that's cool. I'm not mad at you. If you enjoyed this, both versions or whatever, that's awesome. Shout out to you. You have the right to your own opinion. I want you to hear that from me. You can think and feel how you want about any movie. And this is how I feel about a movie that has my two favorite superheroes in it. See, if I were some biased motherfuckers, like a lot of these humans that you know, this movie would get a 10 out of 10 and get an A plus and all this kind of stuff. It'd get an A plus because I like Zack Snyder, but then I would be a liar. That'd be me being dishonest, and I don't want to do that. So I wish it were better. I own this movie, and I'm glad I watched it. I never thought I would see something like this, but it could have been better. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. You punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. So the two best things in this movie, Batman, Ben Affleck is Batman. I know some humans were worried about him, but he was on point, wasn't he? And then Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. And then Superman after that. So yeah. Yeah. The, the thing that everybody was worried about, Batman, he's the best thing in the movie, followed by Wonder Woman, and my boy Superman is after that. Thank you for being here. Support the channel, share it, subscribe, like it, all that fun stuff. And until next time, Terrence out.